So, you're finally settling down. You've saved up a little nest egg and are ready to dive into the real estate market. Let's do a little shopping around. The American Dream Home. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, one doghouse, one garage, two garbage cans. It's cozy, safe, and just barely within your overstretched budget. Not for you. For the same price, you can buy 200,000 acres of prime Sahara wasteland. Put up a cottage, nothing but you in the sky. It's like a beach without the ocean. And talk about quiet neighbors. Too remote? Oh, I understand. You need the thrill and excitement of the big city. With that same nest egg, you can get a slice of prime real estate. Not this real estate. Cozy and affordable, this lovely fixer-upper is the perfect place for a dynamic couple like you. No need to putter around the house. It's all right there where you stand. What's the matter? Feeling a little cramped? Well, just a stone's throw away. Just one bridge or a tunnel ride. Just outside the big bustling city, there is a place with wide open spaces, friendly natives, and spacious dwellings. And it's all within your price range. It's almost too good to be true. When I told you I had a particular building in mind for you, this is the one I was talking about. It's a historical home on one of the best blocks in all of Brooklyn. Remember what we talked about? I know. Poker face. Built-ins, built-ins. Oh, the kitchen's a little small. Oh, well, rip out this awful room divider and you've got an Eden kitchen. And over here you have your library. Wow. For your books. Oh, you like books? Uh, I have a little collection of first edition novels. Alex is a writer. The parlor. Oh my god. So this staircase, this leads to where? I thought you realized this is a duplex. As in two floors for the price of one? Well, it's right there in the listing sheet. So why was it sealed off? Were there like a slew of murders up there or something? No, actually, there's just a sweet little old lady that lives upstairs. A tenant. Hmm. So rent control means we can't kick her out, right? Alex. That's a legitimate question. No, you cannot evict her. She has to decide to leave. Oh, God forbid, poor thing hasn't been feeling well lately. Oh, she's got to be close to 100 years old. <laughs> Mrs. Connolly. It may take a little while. She's hard of hearing. Mrs. Connolly. <laughs> There's my favorite girl. How you feeling today, Mrs. Connolly? I don't feel too good, Kenneth. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Connolly. I brought by a young couple that may want to buy the apartment. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Connolly. I'm Nancy Kendricks. This is my husband, Alex Rose. Hello. We were wondering if we could come in and look around. <laughs> I don't feel up to it. I'm sorry, dear. <coughs> nice seeing you again, Kenneth. <coughs> you have a mommy and me park over here. You got shopping a block and a half that way. No traffic. It is ideal. Here's my card if you want to make an offer. Now, there's a lot of heat on this place. I'd say it'll be off the market by Monday. Adios. <laughs> 